Hey guys, Ryan from Coliseum of Comics coming at you with a ton of new Funko products. Some of this is brand specific, some of it is Halloween related, so we're going to get a head start on that and I want to showcase just about everything we got in because, man, it is a lot of really cool stuff. So, without further ado, I want to showcase a couple of things here. We got the new Chainsaw Man in. Chainsaw Man has about six different figures here, including Aki, Makima, of course, Chainsaw Man, Pochita, who I think is going to be a pretty big seller, and very limited, the Chainsaw Man Chase figurine. Now, here's the thing. At the very end of this, I'm going to announce details on how you can win this for free. So stick around to the end of the video. But we've got all of these Chainsaw Man figurines and more coming at you this weekend to your local Coliseum of Comics. Um, after that, we also have the Chainsaw Man Pocket Pops. There are two different ones. We got Pochita and we've got Denji coming at you. We also have a couple of new ones as well. Uh, we've got Marvel having about four new Pocket Pops at, coming at you. This is going to be like Hulk, Black Panther, Captain America, and Spider-Man. Brand new sculpts. I said Spider-Man. Here he is. Uh, and Iron Man, yeah. So. Five new sculpts hitting the stores this week, and they're brand new. We also have in Sally and Jack and Stitch coming back to you. So these are all hitting the stores this weekend, okay? All right. So we just went over a little bit of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I definitely want to share something super cool with you guys. This here is the Countdown to Halloween countdown to halloween um like i mean it's just super cool it's a countdown to halloween and on the back of it it doesn't just end at halloween you can go ahead and reuse it for christmas and i knocked down the rest of the dice oh well i'm not doing outtakes so this thing is super cool in that you can use it for two different holidays no need to put that thing away uh it's got one set of dice you got jack and sally on one side jack and santa on the other uh, it is super cool. And keeping with the Halloween thing here, let's see, here we go. All right, hold on. So this Halloween, we got some uh, Halloween specific figurines. And what's cool about this is they glow in the dark. Cool, huh? So you've got Jack with candles, wax on his head, Mickey and a pumpkin and you've got Darth Vader. So these things are super cool, limited uh, in our stores, so definitely check them out. Uh, go ahead, hit the lights there. But these things are awesome. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and keep up with Halloween, right? The Universal Monsters are starting to appear in our stores. They've got some unique box designs as well. We've got uh, Dracula, Frankenstein, and Bride of Frankenstein hitting the stores this weekend. Uh, I love the art style on these. This is kind of neat. It reminisces uh, just a traditional, like, old-timey uh, comic book art style. I really appreciate these. I think they did a phenomenal job with those. Um, additionally, since these guys are pretty much there, the Care Bears are also doing the whole, like, Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, and yeah, the mummy. So that's kind of neat that these came in all at the same time. So pretty cool. These are all going to be available this weekend. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a cult classic, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We got two brand new ones. We got Frank and Chubby, and we also got, where are you at? Haha. -ha. And then we got Jumbo here. Jumbo, he is uh, riding like a carousel. Uh, so this is kind of a neat deluxe figurine for the Killer Clowns. Uh, again, it's gonna be limited quantities in our stores, but definitely take a look at that. Pretty cool stuff. And then we have, uh, I don't mean to group these two together, but we got Terrifier, and I don't wanna to spend too much time on that, but he's back, he's in stock now. And then the new Disney ones featuring Mickey and Minnie uh, as trick-or-treaters. They normally do this every year where they've got a different costume on. This year Mickey's a pirate, 
Uh, Minnie, I think, is a, a princess of some sort. And then on the back here, we've got Monster Zinc, Mike and Sully. Also dressed up for Halloween, you got Pumpkin Mike and you got Pirate Sully. So that's super cool. Um, keeping up with Halloween because, yeah, it's kind of neat. It's what we got a lot of in. We have the new Beetlejuice movie. So the new Beetlejuice movie has about five pops plus... So you've got, you know, all of these different guys right here. You've got Beetlejuice, you've got Dolores, Ast what is that, Astrid? Cool, Lydia, Bob, spoiler alert. Uh, and yeah, of course, Beetlejuice. Now the cool thing about Beetlejuice is he comes with a chase figurine, which is limited in our, in our stores. We only got a handful of those guys, so definitely check that out. And also be on the lookout for the two pack of Beetlejuice and Lydia. Then you've got the Crooked Man. The Crooked Man comes as a deluxe pop vinyl, so he's definitely bigger than what you'd see as, a, as Ed and Lorraine Warren anyway, so definitely check that out. And also keeping up with Halloween, we have the Headless Horseman. Super cool sculpt. Uh, just a big fan of Sleepy Hollow there, so... Um, we also have other figurines, such as like Ichabod Crane that are in the stores. Uh, and there may even be a Christmas one from Scrooge like uh, hit in there that uh, we didn't pull back in time. But uh, also coming to you is the Adams Family House featuring Uncle Fester and Thing. So that's a good choice for that, big fan there. All right, so we also have the new Hello Kitty stuff, Sanrio. All right, going through it, guys. There we go. Take a look. There's five different ones that we got here, fe especially fe featuring Hello Kitty and a couple of uh, the friends from uh, Hello Kitty. I think I've got five here. I think six of them are hitting the stores this weekend. Definitely take a look at that, okay? These things normally fly out the shelves. Like, I can't keep this property in stock. All right. Just to give it a quick glimpse, we also got us a strawberry shortcake in here. Let's see. We got strawberry shortcake. We got in two new Parks and Rec pops. We've got right here uh, Leslie in her wedding dress that she made. And uh, we do have Ron with the Pyramid of Greatness. I didn't put that in, but we do have that hitting the stores this weekend as well. So take a look at that. <coughs> All right. There is a new set of TMNT figurines right here. We've got all four of them. I believe this is from the... I'm not going to say anything to get corrected, but one of those movies, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, we've got four brand new sculpts of each of the turtles. I'm really enjoying what these guys are doing. Uh, Funko with these sculpts. They're not just looking like the same turtle with a different mask anymore. They all look like they're doing something different each time they're coming out with these new lines. I think they're coming out with one every year. And uh, yeah, I, I just appreciate the effort they're putting into these these days, you know? All right. For those of you who are fans of Black Clover, I have some good news. We have some Black Clover Pops. Um, so we've got five different ones. You've got these four up here, and then we also have, oh, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not even going to attempt to say that. I don't know that. My bad. All right, but we've got a chase of figuring with this too. We only got about two or three of these in, okay? So if you do want one, you're welcome to go ahead and comment um, in, on this video with your name and what store you want to pick any of these pops up at and uh, we'll do our best to make sure it gets to you, okay? You can also contact your local Coliseum uh, and we can put aside any of these. Even if we got fewer quantity than we wanted, we can always get it from any of our 11 stores. So keep that in mind, guys. Okay. Oh, I almost missed this, but four new Spider-Verse Pops. The movie came out last year and did phenomenal. Um, in it, we have four new ones. We got Mayday Parker. We've got um, the Prowler, uh, spoiler alert from the end, which is Miles Morales. 
Uh, we've got Spider-Man U, uh, Spider-Punk, I almost said Spider-Man UK. I like this movie a lot and I just keep, ugh. Anyway, uh, Unmasked, Spider-Punk, and Unmasked, um, Miguel O'Hara. So we got all four of these hidden. I really appreciate what they did with this one. You have to look at it twice to make sure you didn't put it upside down, but they really captured Mayday on that. So I really, I really like that one. So let's chat a little bit about specialty series. Specialty series is limited to uh, hobby shops uh, and specialty stores such as Coliseum of Comics. Pretty much figurines you can't get at big box stores. So with that, we have two of them that are hitting the stores this weekend. We have Jack Sparrow and we have Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. And Tails actually comes with a flocked chase. So definitely be on the lookout. These things are definitely limited. Unlike some of these figurines, uh, I'm gonna go over restocks in just a second, but some of these just cannot come back in stock. Uh, specialty series are always limited. So definitely take a look in your store and don't delay on those if you're really interested, okay? All right, well, I mentioned some restocks. So we got in some stuff that we haven't seen in a little while that we're super stoked about. We got a Pikachu, Sonic, because we just got Tails in, right? And then we got Trunks, we've got Freddy Krueger, and we've got Stitch 626. This guy has flown off the shelves more times than I can count, mostly because he's got the forearm thing going on in this. It's a super great sculpt. It has always done well in the stores and I'm super glad to have it back in. So, Biddy Pops. Biddy Pops here are super small. These guys are about uh, half an inch tall, to be honest with you. Um, whereas a lot of Pops, you wanna just keep in box as a collectible or so, these things come out just like that and you can fit them into all sorts of different scenarios. Funko has these in three different ways that you can purchase them. Uh, the first one is you can get them in these uh, displays. So there's about 32 that come in a display. It's a randomized thing. So you crack a bag and you'll get a, one of these guys. There's like Toy Story, Harry Potter, DC, Marvel. There's a lot of different brands that this covers. You can get one of these four packs. These are always themed to a different brand. It'll show you three figurines on one of these, and then one of them's gonna be a mystery, and you can even get a rare one out of this as well. So these things are collectible, and sometimes you will get a really good one, just like their mystery minis, right? Um, so this is the four pack, and then you could even purchase them <coughs> out of their towns. So there's towns and rides. Uh, these are towns that we got in this week. These are all gonna be available in select coliseums. Um, so these things um, feature like one figurine that you know what, what it is and then you've got a different town setting that you can put them in. The idea behind the Biddy Pop is that these things are all interchangeable. So if I wanted to put this Deadpool in the Shire, I can. It's kind of a neat thing to do. So it is all up to you. We've got a number of these already in the stores and more coming. Uh, this weekend we've got four different four packs of Batman hitting the stores. Uh, for anybody that likes and comments on this video, uh, you are entered in to win um, this here Chainsaw Man Chase Pop Vinyl. I'll be announcing the winner on Monday the 16th. I believe that's the 16th. Um, so we'll be announcing that on this, uh, on this channel, on this page. So stay tuned and we will see you in the stores.